Toyota launches exclusive GR Supra A91-CF Edition. That's right guys, the 2022 A91-CF Edition has been announced. And it's like really not that much different. <laughs> What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, you have heard it correctly. Toyota has launched or is launching the uh, exclusive GR Supra A91-CF edition, CF meaning carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Well, um, I can't say I'm surprised that there's really not that much different with this this new Supra that is coming out, but um, that's what this video is about. So let's dive into it. I'm three guys on the tripod, bring up the computer screen and you know the deal. The, this is the website I'm using, pressroom.toyota.com. They talk about the Toyota launching the exclusive GR Supra A91 carbon fiber edition. And they got this really cool image of it in a wind tunnel, which also, first off, can I say, how sick would it be to like put your own car in a wind tunnel? I would love to do that just to see like how functional if at all, um, anything that I put on my car, what are you doing? Anything? <laughs> uh, but how, how cool would it be to actually have a wind tunnel and um, put your car like in a wind tunnel and see how functional the, the stuff that you put on your car actually is? Because I'm sure like 90% of the stuff we put on our cars are not functional. Nonetheless, here we are. This is, uh, this is the new Supra. Yeah, it's really not that different. There's the only difference are the, looks like the front carbon fiber splitters, the side skirts are now carbon fiber and there's like these rear little spats that are carbon fiber. Just from the jump, like looking at it in these photos that Toyota put out, I don't really love it. The front splitters look massive, like way, way too big for the front bumper. I don't know why they go up so high. Like they cover more than half of the side of the bumper. I guess functionality is the only thing I can think of, but they are very, very large. I know that in due time when they actually do come out with this Supra and then you can actually buy these OEM parts, which I can't imagine how expensive they're gonna be. It's going to be interesting to see how many people actually go for like these added parts on their A90s and their previous A91 Supras. But um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I will say in the photos that they released in the wind tunnel, they it doesn't look that great. But I have some other photos where I think it looks a lot better, where they're more like realistic and like in real life photos. So from the jump, um, looking at it, it's got the all black wheels. It's got the red Brembo brakes. It's got these new carbon fiber bits added, limited to only 600 units. So this one is gonna be a limited run of 600. The GR Super A91 Carbon Fiber Edition is exclusive to North America, bold functional carbon fiber body kit, and duckbill rear spoiler. So if you guys remember the A91 um, Special Editions, they had like the matte black duckbill. Well, this one is now carbon fiber. Interesting. I do like the design of it. It's very clean and it like kind of shoots up a little bit more than like the Rex Speed one or the aftermarket ones that we all rock. Special edition forged 19 inch matte black wheels and uh, red calipers with the Toyota Super logo. Again, uh, mine, my car came with the matte black wheels, so I'm not sure what the difference is there. It also came with the red calipers. Not sure what the difference is there. Oh, it has the Super logo. I just put that on for like $5. <laughs> um, and then it has the distinctive red and black Alcantara leather interior with unique stitching details. Now, I'm gonna say that's probably the only thing that I find like really cool about this. That would have been a dope feature to have. So you can imagine like these are definitely gonna be priced up. Like they're gonna be marked up like crazy. I just don't really see the reasoning to like buy. I mean, unless you just really want to have one of these special ones and you are like a super fan, then maybe, but um, I really don't see the reason as to why you would buy this. They would need to have changed a few more things to make this much more desirable, like they're saying it is. <laughs> it sounds like um, this is getting the same engine tuning and everything that the A91 edition had, that the 2021 Supra had, with the upgraded horsepower and the different compression, different pistons. With that being said, did they address the oil consumption issues or non-issues, whatever you guys wanna call it. If it's real or not, I'll leave that entirely up to you. 
but um, I it doesn't sound like they did. So, I, yeah. So it looks like they're really banking on like these carbon fiber bits to sell this car. That and the fact that it's like one of 600, right? Like those are the two things that it sounds like they're really hoping that like that's special enough to sell this car. I didn't expect like major changes to the 2022. A lot of people were like, oh my God, are we getting a manual? Oh my God, are we getting a new engine? Oh my God, is it gonna have a Targa? I knew that none of that was happening in 2022. Um, it's gonna take quite a while for anything crazy like that to actually happen. But cool that they're adding something a little bit different, like some carbon fiber, like the aero kit. Is it enough for me to sell mine and go buy this? Absolutely not. Also, it's not gonna be tunable for how long, we don't know, but with your boy, you know, I gotta have that custom tune on there. The aero kit isn't just for looks, it's functional, which is really cool. So it sounds like the A91 CF edition is gonna become available in matte gray phantom, uh, absolute zero white, and nitro yellow. I really like the nitro yellow, it looks amazing. There have been some wide body nitro yellows done that are look really sick. That and refraction blue would be the only other colors that I personally would buy the Super in, but I really like the black. As much of a pain in the butt it is to keep it clean, I really, really like the black. Obviously we know it's gonna have the ZF8 transmission, nothing changes there, adaptive variable sport suspension, active rear sport differential, front Brembo brakes, all this stuff, it already had that. So nothing's changing there. The A91 CF edition brings an exclusive refined interior as well with a red and black theme throughout its Alcantara leather trimmed cabin, which is, that's really cool. Like I think that that's probably one of the coolest things about this. They have 14 way power adjustable heated seats along with carbon fiber interior trim, leather wrap, three spoke steering wheel and sports paddles. They could have really changed the game if they had a new steering wheel in there. That would have been interesting if they'd come out with like a new steering wheel setup because of how atrociously bad that first steering wheel was. Pricing will be announced in the coming months. The dealer availability expected this fall. They are gonna mark these things up so high. You guys just wait. They're gonna be ridiculously expensive. So in 2021, the uh, 3.0 inline six, jumped from 335 to 382, which is um, not true because the car actually made 335 to the wheels, which would be a lot more to the crank. So my version, the 2020, actually made more like 380-ish to the crank, and the 2021 probably made more like 430 or 425 or something in there. BMW does that all the time. They underrate all their cars. Every time they say that it's this much horsepower, it's always way more when you get it on a dyno. The Super 3.0 chassis was also tweaked. Now this is the interesting thing when going from like the 2020 to the 2021, the chassis, like the difference in the chassis and the suspension and everything, does it handle that much better than the 2020? 20. Someone like Jackie Ding, for example, like someone who's actually going out there and like racing these cars, you are changing so much on the car, including tuning and dynamics and suspension and wheels and tires. It's going to handle the way you want it to because you're going to dial it in the way you want it to. All of these things are adjustable. Just like my KW V3s, they're fully adjustable. And now I have camber plates coming, fully adjustable camber plates. When it comes down to it, um, I guess stock for stock, you know, if like you're just buying these cars and you're not really doing anything to them, which is honestly the majority of people. Um, you're probably just gonna, you're, it probably did help. It probably did help a lot. So obviously they had the 2.0 that they brought out, which was the B46 engine, right? And it made a little less power and it was a four cylinder. So a little more affordable, it, also a great engine. Like this is the engine that was in the 330. I have some experience modifying that engine. Great car. Like if you wanna get into a Super that has a 2.0, absolutely do it. Don't listen to people who are like, oh, get the 3.0 or bust. Get whatever fits within your budget and don't try to overstretch yourself. However, if you can find a used 3.0, like a 2020, 100% the way to go. Like, I don't understand why everyone's trying to buy these cars brand new. I, I really don't get that. Like, I bought mine with 7,000 miles on it. It's perfect. It's great. It makes a shit ton of power. I can tune it, do everything I want to it. Never had any issues with it. It's a fun car and I didn't overpay. I see people who are like in the Facebook and like on the forums, like what should I pay? You know, like dealer wants like $58,000. I'm like, dude, you guys are overpaying for these cars. So this is a pretty cool thing that they're doing. You get a complimentary one year NASA membership. Every 2022 GR Super comes with a complimentary one year membership to the National Auto Sports Association. 
As a part of this membership, GR Super owners will have benefits like enjoying free high performance driving events. Look, I'm telling you, these high performance driving events are so cool. Like when I went to the one in Spartanburg when my buddy James was getting his G80 delivered, oh my God, so fun. I'm definitely going back and paying to do their driving school. It's like a two day um, school where you go there and you get to drive on the track and they actually like take you through and you get to drive like M2s, M4s and like G80s. Totally worth it. I'm telling you, I didn't even buy a car and I was just a guest and I went there to go on the track for when I could. And I learned a lot just from being there for that one day. All the feature stuff like dude, lane departure, like steering assist, get that off. I think it's almost like a law now that you have to have that stuff, but dude, that, the steering assist is super annoying and the lane departure is super annoying. I don't like any of that stuff. Like, let me drive my car. I don't want you to drive it for me. Hence why I don't own a Tesla. So here are a couple more images of like the close up carbon fiber pieces. So that's the whole write up. I mean, dude, for people who were like really stoked to see something new here, kind of a letdown. Like kind of a bummer, dude. So we got some other images here. Obviously here are the ones from the tunnel. Sick. Yup. Does it come with red underglow too? <laughs> All right, man. So here are the ones of the car, like actually at the event out in public. Now, seeing the car like in real life, this looks a lot better than what they were showing in the video. It just didn't, it was kind of hard to see the whole car. So imagine the front just like splitter part that comes up on the side, the valence thing. Imagine that being the same size as the one on the side skirt and the rear. It would have looked so much better. I just don't understand why it's so big. I just, I mean, I guess for functionality, but it just looks kind of weird to me. But I gotta say, it looks pretty good. Those parts look pretty sick. As far as styling, I think it goes really well with the body. My only complaint would be like, continue that carbon fiber on the front through the rest of the entire bumper. They do actually, there is a company that has an aftermarket piece for that centerpiece that you can change a carbon fiber. I actually have one in my garage. I just never put it on. But you can get that if you want, and you could just make it car all carbon fiber. Who knows, maybe I'll rock this when it actually comes out. It'd probably look really good on black. So anyways, that's really it, I guess. Um, is it one that I would buy? No, wait, I would just get the parts if they came out if I really wanted them that bad. Give it a few months after this car is released and people are gonna make replica parts that are probably gonna be damn near as good at a fraction of the cost. Whether people wanna say OEM is better or not, that's fine. I think that there are just people out there who are like OEM junkies and like they have to have the OEM stuff which is totally cool and totally fine. So I don't know if you guys have seen the renders of the Targa top Toyota Supra, but uh, this would probably be the only thing that would make me consider getting rid of my car and buying this car. <laughs> yeah, the, the Targa top looks so good. It's just something about it. It just looks really, really clean. I would love to see that. I personally would love to see that. And if it happened, I would for sure buy one. I would for sure get rid of my car and buy the Targa. I also think that it would be wise to at least consider a manual. I mean, why not? The other BMWs that are out right now are in manual. Why wouldn't you offer this car in a manual? There are so many people that just want the manual. Just put the manual transmission in there as an option. You would be making so many people happy. I still love the ZF. I think it's a great transmission, but so many people actually want the manual. Like just give them the option. There's already companies that do it outside, like aftermarket on the side, but you, you know there's plenty of BMW transmissions that are manual that you can make this work with a B58. There's plenty of B58 340s that have manual transmissions. I personally would love to see a, um, a manual option on this car. I think that I think that would be really dope. You know, there are talks of that, like the GRMN version, the German version or whatever, um, super coming out that's gonna have like the S58 or something and it's gonna cost like $100,000. If I'm spending $100,000, I'm buying a Porsche. I really don't think that it would make sense for them to release that car, but who knows. Anyways guys, so what do you think about the new 2022 CF A91 uh, edition Supra? Leave your comments down below. Are you gonna buy one? Do you want one? Do you care? Do you not care? Would you rather just get a 2020 that you can actually tune? I noticed that a few people got pretty upset about that video that I made with like the tune, the tunability and like the oil consumption video. I just wanna be really clear. I'm not knocking the A91. I'm just trying to give my honest advice about what I think people should buy based on the options that are out there. Why even take like that 
risk of having the oil consumption issues and why buy it new? I just don't understand that. If you're gonna get into this car, you might as well just get the one that you know is tunable that doesn't have any chance of oil consumption issues. The 2021 Supras are fantastic. There's nothing wrong with them. It's great that they make more power from the factory, but you have to understand a lot of people that are like buying these cars and want to tune them. At the end of the day, like if you tune both of these cars and you build up both of these cars, it's really not gonna make that big of a difference. They're both gonna be right around the same power, right around the same torque. You're not gonna get that much more of a benefit by just buying the 2021 if you plan on building it up. If you are someone that just wants to buy a stock car and keep it stock and you want a little more power, sure, that makes sense. Anyways, um, Carbon Fiber Edition looks pretty sick. I would probably just buy like the parts if I wanted them separately and I just wait it out. Give me that Targa. Give me that Targa, baby. Bring out that Targa. Or maybe I'll just cut the roof off of my car. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.